Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back. And before this video started, I just wanted to make sure you guys like are subscribed and stuff. And I, I want to make sure you guys join my Discord server. This is where you guys could actually contact me, like talk with me and stuff. Like, look, this guy just joined. Like, yo, if you if I see you guys in like a voice chat, like these are my voice chats, I will hit you guys up. I'll like join the voice chat and talk with you guys. And you guys can find my like videos here, like all my video updates. Because like sometimes YouTube doesn't like to, like YouTube fails notifying people and then I got like my Twitter feeder here with all my tweets and stuff. You guys want to follow my Twitter, and um, like look, yo, you guys could just contact me. Yo, what's up? What's up, man? Say hi to YouTube. Let's see if he's gonna say hi to us. And like, I have like all these announcements and stuff, like all these stuff. So make sure you guys join my Discord. If you guys want to know how to join my Discord, I'll show you guys like right now. You guys just go to like one of my videos, probably like look in the description below. And if, you write if I could just pause that, okay, and then go to show more, and then right here where it says Discord, you have my link. When you click on it, it will send, it will give you a link to my Discord.me, which redirects you to my actual Discord. And like, if it doesn't work, just comment down below saying it didn't work, and I will send you a actual like Discord link to join. And um, thank you all for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the video oh hi you yo what is up guys welcome back and today we are here in my desktop and today i will be showing you how to get them lit renders for your lit gfx so first off what you want to do is you want to go into your cinema 4d or blender for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to use cinema 4d i like cinema 4d more than blender because it is simple blender is more advanced but you can get some better stuff with blender now let's have cinema 4d load in okay so what you want to do is go to open and then you want to go choose your character model I will be using Fusion Adapt for today's video. If you guys don't know who he is, go go subscribe to him on YouTube. He is a really close friend of mine. I will open it, hit yes, and then do 100 centimeters. Okay, blah, blah, blah. As you guys can see, now that it is loaded, what you want to do is you want to click on all the body parts with shift, and then you want to come here and then do US, 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 like in the USA. Then what you want to do is you want to bring all this down and then click all these phone tags and delete them all so the, the character is not black anymore. Then what you want to do is you want to go to file and merge then add in your bones. These are my bones. What you want to do is you want to click them. To find the bones you can look on Google or I will try to link it in the description below. You can also find them on other videos. Then what you want to do is go here to the bottom corner to the bottom and write 180 degrees so it flips it. Then what you want to do is you want to click on this here and you want to slide the bones into position. As you guys can see it is almost perfectly in place. When you think it is perfectly aligned you want to click on this again and then you want to come back down here to face the body. And then what you want to do is you want to align the elbows and like the corners of the bones to the places sometimes if you are using a regular roblox character you won't have to struggle with this but if you are using a modified um, character like this as he has the bones texture you you might want to move it so now what you want to do is you want to go to the left shoulder bring this down and inside a little bit so it gets perfect you want to continue doing this for the other parts and then you want to complete it right there and then just go to the hand if it you cannot click on it because the character is on top of it or you could click on it from here now we will do the same thing to the right side of the body you want to bring this in bring it down i am having struggling i am struggling breathing right now i am sorry for that now what you want to do is you want to click on that too and perfectly align it now that you think now that you think it is perfectly done, you want to connect the bones to the body itself. 
to do this you go into here the first one and then you do control head and top of head and then you do character commands bind the first one was the head the second one is usually the right arm when you click on this and then you hold control and then you go to right shoulder right elbow and right hand then you want to go to character commands bind this will bind your bones and your body same thing here and you want to continue doing this commands bind just keep doing this as until you get to the torso we are on the left shoulder right now as you guys can see we are almost done now we have the left thigh left leg and the left foot character command bind now when we are here at the torso you want to choose the mid body and the upper body character command bind now that we are at the parts of the head like this is the double head right now the, the shoulder heads you want to go to head and top of head and then hit character commands bind same thing with the pumpkin character commands bind and then you want to do the same exact thing for oh no that was oh no that was the thing in the background now you want to do the same thing for the actual head itself character commands bind the pumpkin i mean now that you are fully binded, you can check this out by going to the left shoulder and trying to move it. As you guys can see, it moves the shoulder perfectly. You then can go to the elbow and rotate it. If it rotates after the elbow, it is done perfectly. You guys have successfully binded your bones and your character. Now what you want to do is you want to get a nice angle on this boy, this lip boy, and you want to get a nice render. Now to do this, what you want to do is you want to align the camera whichever way you want to. And then, let's say we want it like straight in the middle, okay? We want it straight in the middle. What do we want him to be doing? That's what's important. Now we could have his arms like reached out or something. I'm going to go to the right arm, the, the right shoulder, and then I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to have it facing outwards a bit and a little... A little bit like that mm, mm, yeah this looks this looks fairly okay maybe rotate it upwards a bit okay this is this is looking good and then I'm gonna have this go downwards a little bit and then connect it back up now we're going to be doing something similar to the left side I was thinking maybe something like this and then over there and then what we want to do is we can give these a little bit more detail by bending the shoulders so we can have it like that and then we can do the same thing on the right side so if we go to our right elbow we can bend it upwards a little bit or like this or whichever way we want we can we could literally break his we could break his elbow uh, let's just get something like wait no let's get something like this there no that's not nice okay let's bend it upwards a little bit that's okay that's a lot better and then we can bring in the right the left shoulder because I don't like it looking that far apart as you guys can see it is a lot better now now when we get to the legs I like to do the leg first so I bend this part in and then I actually bring the thigh up so it gives it like a slight bendy effect and then rotate it a bit and then what we do is we go to the other side bend it in a little bit bring the thigh upwards and then rotate it outwards again now if we take a look at it it looks pretty good it looks pretty good so if we test render this let's give it a test render real quick it is looking pretty nice I don't know if I should keep it like that or like that I am not sure I think I'll bring them both down a little bit so the right shoulder let's just have you go downwards a little bit same thing with the left shoulder I don't think I think they're too high up now let's give it another test render it's looking really nice I think I, I want to look at this from an angle now yeah, I think this would be really nice. Now we click on the head and click rotate. We can angle his head towards us and 
face it downwards a little bit. I think this will make him look a lot better. Then we can go to mid body and then just just face him downwards a little bit. I think this made him just look uh, like 10 times better. Then we could go fix up the right the left leg. We could like, bend you over a little bit. I think this is looking nice. I, I believe this is really nice. Let's give it a test render to see how it's going to be. Okay, this is actually really nice. I'm going to move this to towards the middle of my screen a little bit. And then I'm going to go into my render settings. Here we can upgrade the render settings. So I'm going to have it mine at 920 by 1080. I believe this will make it a lot better. Then when we come to save, you want to turn the alpha channel on and make this into a PNG. Some things you don't want to forget is going to effect, hit ambient occlusion, and then go to effect, and then hit global illumination. These will make your render look 10 times better. Let's just zoom out from the screen a little bit. Face it, have it set to the middle. As you guys can see, the left leg is stuck. To get rid of this, you want to click on this green part and then hit delete. There is a timeline and this is what messes it up. We want to get rid of the timeline. This is a glitch in the system. We don't want that moment. So we hit delete. Now we want to get the left leg back. This has happened to many people before and they don't know how to fix it. That is how you fix it. Like look, you see this? That orange and the blue? You want You guys see all of this? You you guys see this, right? Delete. You guys want to get rid of all of this. I don't know how to get like hold all of it and then hit delete. There we go, guys. Okay, now that we are done with that, we can bend this back into its position and it is perfect. And now what we want to do is we want to give it a nice render. Let's see how it will be. I just forgot to tell you guys that we are missing something. Yes, I want to stop this. Since we have global illumination and the MBAD inclusion, we have to add in our lights, lighting, our light room. So we hit merge and then go down to Unequally's light room. When we do this, we want to remove the null and the camera. Then we want to rotate the lights onto our character's shoulders. Kind of like this. As you guys can see, it is facing the shoulders. I'm gonna have it face I'm gonna have the light on this side more. I think this will look a lot better. And then we just want to realign our character into the middle of our screen in a position like this. Now this will make our character look ten times better. And then when we hit render, we will see how good the render is. As you guys can see, our character is actually loading in this time because we have the light hitting our character. This will make him ten times better. And trust me, it is beautiful. You guys can see how the 3D figure is actually coming in together. This will make a perfect render. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and comment down below. Hashtag fusion because today we are doing fusions character. This is the t this is when he was using the fake Steenak character. So don't mind that. Please don't comment down below. That's Steenak, not fusion. It's taken a while to render right now because I am not only recording this, but I am also trying to render and I don't really have a graphics card. When the render is complete, I will show you guys how beautiful he is. For more tutorials like that, comment down below that you guys want more tutorials on Cinema 4D or Blender or Photoshop. After this video, I am planning on recording a video on Photoshop on how to make GFX perfectly using these renders. I will also need to record a video showing you guys how to get these renders. The render is nearly complete. I think it will take a few more minutes. We are at a minute 40 and we are 4, four of 4 done mostly for it with the main pass. If you guys haven't already, go check out my boy Fusion's channel because this is a video on his character and go subscribe to my video go subscribe to my channel and like my other videos that will be very helpful for me thank you all i am terribly sorry if this video has been really laggy 
the video is really laggy because I don't have a graphics card and I am on motion I am on monitor capture instead of display capture I don't have a capture card and that is making some issues okay now it is actually rendering the character as you guys can see he is very sexy look at that detail in the body look at how beautiful that is you guys can see the death the death and everything he is slowly rendering in this is actually a beautiful moment to be alive just look at his character just look at those legs look at how his face is coming in the head it is beautiful with the lighting you guys can see there's a light hitting him from this side just look at how beautiful this face is i have never seen anything more beautiful the, than this face look at how his crown is slowly loading in i think that is my that is majestic his shoulder heads are beautiful too fusion if you're watching this video don't forget to hit the like now that we are done rendering we can act finally save this picture it, we have a black background but don't be afraid we won't have that background when we are done you want to go to file and save as and then make sure it is a png and the alpha channel is turned on when you hit ok choose where you want to save it to don't mind my loaf of bread there or the dolphin what you want to do is fusion adapt i want to name this whatever i want and then z, z and hit save now when we go into our files and go to done and then go back those are all my thumbnails and go into characters we can find fusion adapt fusion gfx this is what i made from before and now this is that is also something i made from before this is what we just made if you guys like the video hit that like button and if you guys really liked it hit that subscribe button down below i'll see you all in the next video where we actually give this man a background and some lit effects Peace.